Hello and welcome to my new YouTube channel. My name is Christina from Too Old to Tumble Fitness and I'm a 50-something fitness coach and parkour enthusiast and I work mostly with the fellow Generation Xs to help them reclaim control of their body, stop the middle age spread and feel ageless again because it's so easy to write yourself off as an athlete and stop being playful as the first signs of aging start showing up. But guess what? I've actually got news for you. You are never too old to tumble. Again, welcome to my new vlog series where I'm going to share with you some tips, tips and tricks for staying fit and active for a very, very long time after you had your last pregnancy scare. We're going to talk about fitness for midlifers in all its forms, from ordinary workouts that you can do from home or at the gym to also um, things like doing parkour or learning aerial skills. That is my own fitness journey at this time and I'm going to share it with you because although I realise this is not going to be everyone's cup of tea, not everyone would want to follow my footsteps, but for those who think, oh, I really wish I could do that but I'm too old, I'm going to show you that you're actually not too old, that you can do it, it's accessible and you just have to go about it in a sensible way. We're going to look also at nutrition and all the things that you can do with regards to your nutrition to help you stay fit, active and just, you know, without giving up any of the things that, are, that make life worth living. And while we're at it, we're also going to be sticking two fingers up to middle age because why not? And so today I just wanted to introduce myself and I want to share, start sharing with you all the ways in which you can stay fit at any age but especially so when you get to this age. My own fitness journey started around about the age of four when my parents thought it would be a good idea to dump me on top of a mountain and teach me to ski and that kind of got me started into doing the most exciting stuff. I then when I was a little bit older about six or seven years of age I started doing gymnastics and I was a competitive gymnast for a few years. I then start, started to learn martial arts, something that I still do. Um, I also was a dancer for a few years and I was a pole fitness student and instructor. It was during that time when I was uh, doing pole fitness that my mentor at the time said to me, oh, you should consider getting fitness qualifications because you're really good at inspiring other people to be better than they can be, than they think they can be. So, and, and experience the same success that you were experiencing in such a short time. Um, so I thought about it, I listened and I did it. And guess what? It worked. I since invested insane amounts of time and money into my own education so I could learn everything I possibly could about the fitness, the female fitness and metabolism because they're different from men. And I could also, because I wanted to understand how the female body works in the, within the fitness context, within a weight loss context, um, and also understand how why my body was going through all those changes that suddenly de completely derailed my fitness efforts and, and, and the weight management effort was like off, through the, off the roof, through the charts. It's just really difficult to stay in shape. And I didn't know why. I was doing all the right things as far as I knew. The things that always work and they suddenly stopped working. So I learned all that stuff so I can now help you understand it as well and get back control. This is what getting back control of your body is all about. Perimenopause and menopause are really tricky to navigate but it can be done and as you can see the results are that you can still do everything that you want to do and in fact start your adventures with confidence. I also learned how to help people manage autoimmune disorders, overcome their injuries. I got a wide catalogue of those major, not so major ones. I'm always at it. It's part of doing stuff. It doesn't matter how hard you, you train, how hard you, how fit you are, and how hard you try to prevent injuries, they will happen inevitably. And even if you sit on your arse all day, you get up, you get injured. So, and also, the most, one of the most important things that I learned that's very dear to my heart is how to manage the physical symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder, something that I've been suffering from all my life and only in recent years I managed to get a hang of. Um, now I'm in control, not my PTSD. So this is me. If any of this resonates with you, hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. And I wish you a great day wherever you are.
and whatever you're doing and I just can't wait to connect with you and go on this new adventure together.